This video will go over the install of basic swap for Windows using the Docker method. You will first need to download and install WSL through the PowerShell terminal. To do so, simply open up PowerShell as an administrator and type WSL dash dash install as shown. Once this is done, you will need to restart your computer. Once your computer is done rebooting, it will prompt you with a terminal to set up a username and password for your new Linux environment in Windows. This can be anything, it will just be used to confirm your admin privileges within the WSL environment. Once you've decided on the username and a password, you can close this window. Our next step will be to download Docker Desktop for Windows. You can find it on the docker.com website. Here, once it's downloaded, you can simply install it. Once that Docker install is done, you can press the button to restart your computer once more. Once your restart is done, uh, you may be prompted with this screen right at the startup, but if not, uh, you can simply open Docker Desktop manually and wait until it fully boots up. The little green well at the bottom left will help you determine that. From then on, you will want to open a WSL console to do so, simply go into the run command, or Windows R, and type WSL. So we will be following the compiled instructions to download and build basic swap that are available on the Particle Academy website. So to start up from the WSL console, you want to start with a sudo apt update. followed by the apt install of git, jq, and curl. And once those prerequisites are done, you will be ready to copy the content of the basic swap application GitHub with this command. Once that's done, make sure you're in the right folder location, which is under the basic swap slash docker directly after whichever path you extracted the git repo in the previous step. So here we are in basic swap slash docker. This next part is optional, but is the ideal way to set up your basic swap docker image. So you will, you will want to set up the export coin data command permanently as it will be very useful. Uh, it needs to be run once every time you open a new terminal for WSL for when you want to interact with basic swap. So to set up the export coin data command permanently, you'll need to modify the .env file available in basic swap slash docker. To do that, you will want to go into nano.env and simply remove the hashtag in front of coin data path. So you need to use the keyboard arrows to navigate there. Once that is done, control X, followed by yes, the Y key, and finally enter. So this will make the export coin data path comp command a permanent feature of your basic swap Docker image. After doing that, you can proceed to the docker compose build command, which will finally build your basic swap docker image. This will take a short while. Once that is done, uh, we can start with the configuration of our docker image. This is the other half of, of uh, making basic swap available 
on your Windows machine. The first step of that will be to set up Monero's current chain height. Uh, it should look, the output should look about like that, probably with different numbers, but no more text. The next command will be the main configuration input for the configuration of your Docker image. And this is, this is an important step. Uh, you can specify which coins you want to start basic swap with using the with coins command. This will download every relevant blockchain that you specify for every coin that you wish to use for basic swap decks. Here we have Monero and Bitcoin. You can add any of the supported coins, which are detailed on the Academy website. This should take a while. There's a possibility that during this step, the process times out. Uh, the problem is quite easy to deal with. It, literally all you need to do is run the exact same Docker run command again. And here it should pick back up where you left off. Once this process is done, you will be greeted with a seed phrase for your particle basic swap wallet. We recommend that you save the seed. It's absolutely crucial if you need to restore your basic swap particle wallet. You will also want to save the output of the echo current XMR height command, which will be important if you need to restore your basic swap Monero wallet. Another optional step is to set the time zone of your basic swap build. This step is not necessary. Uh, there's various information on basic swap with regards to what time an offer was posted or accepted. So this doing this step will ensure that the time displayed is faithful to your own time zone. To do so, you will again need to edit the nano.env file. The last line here is what needs to be edited. You can replace UTC with your appropriate time zone. Uh, you can find the correct codes through the time date command shown here. Uh, for the purposes of our video, this step does not work as we're on a dual boot setup, which uh, brought some time zone related issues, but it will show a menu and you can uh, establish which code you want to use instead of UTC exactly here. In any case, once the echo current XMR height output is received and saved, uh, you're ready to launch the basic swap application itself. To do so, you can proceed with the very final command, which is docker compose up. And once that is up and running, it will make basic swap available directly from your web browser at the localhost 12700 address. Keep in mind that you will need to sync the relevant blockchains that you wish to use within basic swap as full nodes are necessary for it to function. And that is it for the install of basic swap on Windows 11.